Lego Education, it, um, part of the Lego Group, but it is a separate company and is focused on delivering educational solutions to students from preschool and elementary all the way up through to, uh, through to high school. And, and we, we do that by implementing a solution. So it's not necessarily just uh, a box of Lego. It's, it's a specifically designed boxes of, of, of Lego, Lego kits, um, which come with teacher solutions, curriculum packs, and also face-to-face -face training. And that's where I come in. So the, 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 uh, the model of Lego education is that uh, the people who come and do the training for the teachers are teachers themselves. So I've been a teacher for many years. Um, and my, my role within Lego education is, is, is just that. It's a, it's a certified trainer. So when, when teachers receive training around Lego education products and solutions, they're getting it from an education professional, which is really important to the Lego, Lego education. Family. Many times people hear school and they hear training, they hear education and they think of literacy, they think of yeah. numeracy. I love the fact that you keep on mentioning the word solutions. Yes. What is the significance of actually using Lego uh, to evolve mind and, and paradigms okay. and work towards solutions? Well, the Lego um, philosophy, the Lego group philosophy is playful learning of course. And, uh, and we take that a stage further in Lego education. Um, in, 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 in providing, providing a whole solution to, to schools, which includes um, teacher packs, teach, teacher resources, and the training. Um, but in terms of educational theory and philosophy, uh, Lego education is based very much on the theory of constructionism, which is really, it's really about um, pupils reaching their own decisions through creative play and experimentation and collaboration and problem solving. Um, and the role of the teacher is really more of a facilitator than a deliverer of content. So it's very much about um, creativity and collaboration and learning through a playful experience. Because it's Lego. Everybody loves Lego. You know, and that that engagement and that uh, that access through play is really important. You know, we can't in education underestimate that. If you know, if if, if, if a child is engaged and a child is having fun in the classroom, then they're going to learn more and they're going to learn better. I think it's you always know. so important to have that engagement that leads to a critical analysis sort of way as opposed to just saying, okay, well, teacher said this, so test time I'm going to say this. Absolutely. Because, but in terms of bringing that into the classroom or bringing it out of the classroom, Ms. Jack, what is this competition about? So the first Lego League is just being launched in Trinidad and Tobago. It is an international competition that is run in 80 countries. And Lego just contacted Trinidad and Tobago to be the first um, persons to start it in the Caribbean. We are um, hoping to get a lot of persons interested in it, of course, by coming here. And Nihis is going to be starting it on October the 8th, starting training on October the 8th. First Lego League is um, just get towards children between the ages of 9 to 16 years old, and they get to build cool robots, of course, with the guidance of a um, a mentor or a coach who would be working with the team and they get to build cool robots and we train them and everything in this um, in this um, development of the robots of course through our robotics clubs and also our tech clubs and um, and yeah and that's just like a league. Where do you hope for the competition to take the people who are a part of it? So at the end of the competition, because it's an international competition, there is a World Festival that is going to be taking place, taking place in Houston, Texas, and in St. Louis this year. Trinidad and Tobago just got onto the list for Houston, Texas. So we will be taking the kids to Houston, Texas to show what they are working, what they worked on for the time that they were with us. And Fingers crossed we win the competition and bring home gold to Trinidad and Tobago. No, even, even, even before you think about gold, I'm wondering about the interaction between the persons learning how to make these robots and the mentors. What, what 
kind of dynamic does that take? How many hours a week? Uh, what are some of the things you work on? And how does that interaction actually help the individual? So the project is split into three parts. There is a project, a robot game, which is going to take place on a tabletop. And there is also a core value segment, which is sort of the cornerstone of the program because the kids learn things like teamwork. They learn about um, just getting themselves out, like just being able to speak and get themselves out there, get their opinions out there. Um, so, the, so the interaction with the mentors and coaches would, of course, get the kids prepared for that um, interaction. So just being able to present their work or being able to code a robot or that sort of thing. So the mentors will have to interact with the kids during the week for a period of eight weeks. Um, between January to February of 2017 and then from October to December of this year they'll be pre they will be preparing for a qualifier and the kids would um, have to have a lot of interaction with their mentors and coaches to get familiar with the uh, mentors and the coaches and understand how each other how they work together as a team um, to design another tabletop that NEHIST will be developing for the qualifier and so the um, coaches and mentors, they go on their own time with the kids um, because, you know, there's the school team and students have exams and such. So we um, are hoping that the mentors and coaches would set up a time that is convenient for everyone to work together with. But how do you source them, though, the, the mentors the and The mentors coaches? and the coaches are going to be parents and teachers who would be interacting with the kids a lot. So when a team registers on, um, on our website, nehuse.gov.tt, we just launched on Friday, um, they would see the, on the registration um, form, there is a part to register coaches and mentors. So they must have a coach and they must have a mentor uh, to, because we need the mentors and coaches to give them guidance. Okay, and and speaking, speaking about that guidance, though, Stuart, in terms of having coming from that educational background mm -hmm. and then having it articulated through this sort of manifestation, what is the most important uh, aspect of the interaction between the, the children or the participants and those coaches or mentors? Well, it's, <coughs> I mean, I, I, I'd say first off, First Logger League is a great um, sort of extension, if you like, to what schools might be doing initially with, um, with Lego Education Mindstorms. It's just, it's just one solution that, that, that's a, um, that's a full kind of STEM solution for schools, so science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, and First Lego League takes that forward um, in, in a way that you know, introduces an aspect of competition, but also um, is, 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 is wrapped around a much bigger project, and that could be concerning um, environmental issues, etc., etc. So when, when a mentor or a, or a coach comes in to, to assist the children it's it's just taking that concept of uh, of research and of collaboration and of teamwork and problem solving wrapped up in robotics much much further and takes it out of school which 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 often is a um, you know but a, a um, problem yeah exactly exactly you know that, that 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 could be a real plus for a lot of children absolutely Carissa yeah. in terms of contact information please um, so our contact information, you can get us at 627-2888. We also have a Facebook page. It's called Lego Education Trinidad and the Caribbean. And we would like the public to know that they can attend an event we're having on Saturday the 17th. It's available to the public. Parents can come. They can bring their kids where they'll get to witness firsthand how the Lego Education Solutions work. And also we'll have a booth where Newhurst will be participating with First Lego League. Yeah. And they can witness what it is, what Lego Education is.